everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm finally on the real carpentry stage of this project, which is, is really my favorite part of it. I find that uh, carpentry is, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to put an adjective on it. I just enjoy it more, and it's okay for me to have preferences, and I, you know, I prefer that more than the, the concrete part of it. Um, so what I'm doing is putting all these legs on. I've got all the feet in. Uh, you can see the last one I did over there is still wrapped in, uh, I've got some plastic wrap around there. There's a bucket on top bucket on top is so uh, when it rains uh, I'm not getting uh, water pooling in the top and all the plastic wrap is try to just keep whatever warmth is uh, happening during the cure in there because concrete works best to harden up when it is uh, a you know, reasonable temperature. You usually want to do it above 50 degrees and tonight is going to be the first night below 50 degrees so uh, I'm glad that I just finished all the concrete work. So what I'm working on right now is uh, putting in, in these posts. Uh, you can see over here there's one of them uh, they come up and then they've got these two little notches on the side and these two little notches are going to take two pieces of pressure treated 2x6 that are going to run along the whole length of this thing here and uh, what I'm doing is uh, drilling out the middle. I already drilled it out. I used uh, these little br uh, brackets as a guide. I still have one free from that one over there. I put them on here uh, to kind of center it, drill a hole out for the bolt that's sticking through here. And uh, I'm looking at the bolts to make sure that they're straight. My intent was that they were straight up and down. Sometimes they settle a little bit. This one is kind of zigzagging that way. So when I drilled the hole, I kind of accommodated for that. I'm going to set this on. It's going to sit right on there. I've got a sledgehammer. And what I'm going to do is tap it down so it kind of bites into the bolt uh, and uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the nut at the bottom there. So I'm holding them roughly vertical. Now this will be close enough. Okay, so I've got that hammered down. And uh, what I'm doing first is this string here. I want, I'm using the string to uh, make a mark for where those two little side guys are going to uh, come in here. Now, it's pushing the string out, and that has the potential for maybe, maybe I push the string down, maybe I push the string up. So what I'm going to do before I mark anything is come back here and just do a sight across it and make sure it's a straight line. It looks like it did pull it down just a little bit. So I'm going to kind of tap that and then just sight along it again. Okay, and that looks straight. So this tells me this is where the bottom of the 2x6s are going to be and I'm going to make a mark right there. And that's all I have to do here at the moment. The next step for me is to pull this off here. Come on. And get hit in the face with it when I pull it up. And I'm going to bring it over to the table saw and I'm using the table saw to kind of make those make those notches. So there's going to be one notch on this side, one notch on that side. I'll just carry this over. And then repeat. I've got the four corners done already. This one's ready to go. This one's about ready to go. Uh, my goal for the end of the day today is to have all of them done with the exception of the one that's still curing over there. Uh, but it's, you know, things are moving pretty quickly, so I'm, I'm feeling like I have a pretty good shot at, uh, shot at doing that. That's it. Thanks for watching.